I'm Jared Brook, Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue University, here with another Wildlife Habitat Hint. We're out here today setting up some trail cameras on some of our properties for a research project, and I thought this was an awesome opportunity to talk to you about some tips and tricks that you can use to be more successful in capturing pictures of wildlife with these trail cameras. Trail cameras are an awesome way to monitor and inventory wildlife on your property and a great way to get kids and grandkids engaged in the outdoors. So here's a few tips that you can use to increase your success with trail cameras. The first is where you place it. So when you place these trail cameras out in your woods or in the environment, you wanna place them in areas where you're gonna have high likelihood of getting wildlife, so high likelihood of wildlife traveling in those areas. Some good areas are around water, maybe around some sort of den, um, or around some sort of game trail. And so we're set up on a game trail today, but one of the things you wanna think about when you're setting up on game trails is that if you face it directly at the game trail, you're not gonna get the best in most pictures. You wanna set the trail camera up at about a 45 degree angle on the game trail so that you get pictures of the animal walking down toward the camera and walking away from the camera on the game trail. That'll help you get better and, and more pictures of wildlife on the game trail. The second tip is the direction you wanna face the game camera. So we're facing this camera directly north and that's so that we don't get overexposure and underexposure of pictures and a lot of extra pictures that we might get if we faced it east or west and we had this, the setting and rising sun. So we wanna face it directly north. The other tip is, is how high you wanna set it. So a lot of times people wanna set trail cameras either too high or too low. The best place to set them is at about knee height, which can be at about a foot and a half to two feet off the ground. You're gonna get a lot of smaller wildlife as well as it's gonna be the right height to get various species like deer. As you can see on this trail camera here, we have a few extras. We have this security box here that has this face place on it. And that's a good way to keep your trail cameras from, from getting damaged or from um, getting stolen. And so we, in conjunction with the security box here, we have a cable lock that we're gonna put through this camera and secure it to the tree so that we make sure that someone doesn't walk by uh, and steal our trail camera. Another tip on placement of, of trail cameras is that you wanna be sure that the trail camera is level to the ground that uh, it's taking pictures of. And one way to do that, if you don't have a completely level spot or a completely level or straight tree, is to use sticks that you find and wedge them behind the camera, in our case, behind the security box. See, so it wedged them back here. And that does a couple things. That's gonna change the angle of our trail camera based on the thickness of the sticks, but it's also gonna help stabilize the trail camera and the security box against the tree so it doesn't move as much. Another tip is when you set these trail cameras, make sure that you clear all the vegetation right here in front of the trail camera out to about five or 10 feet. And the reason you wanna do this is as the wind blows and that vegetation moves, you're gonna get a lot of extra pictures of just moving vegetation, which may run down your batteries or fill up your memory card. The last tip I have for you, actually one of the most important ones, is that before you walk away from the camera, make sure that the camera is on and that it is going to record either your pictures or your videos. There's been lots of times when I've walked away from the camera forgetting to turn it on. So last tip, make sure you turn it on. Our camera's on now, getting ready to take pictures. So we're gonna close the camera up. We're gonna put our cover on our security box. And now we are going to put our cable through the box here secure it to the tree and make sure that it's safe from uh, being stolen. And run it through there. Run it through the other side of the lock. And now we have a secured 
camera to the tree that's safe from someone tampering with it or stealing it. So I hope these tips help you be more successful with your trail cameras. Enjoy.